I love airplanes. It's an obsession and I was born with it. Colton Harris Moore. This is the crazy story of the Barefoot Bandit. Colton Harris Moore was born on March 22nd, 1991 in Mount Vernon, Washington. Colton's father left the family after choking him during a disagreement. It's also been reported that Colton's mother struggled with alcoholism and Colton's stepfather died when he was a kid. He struggled in school and was said to seem disconnected. Colton started living in the woods and committing small crimes, breaking into people's homes, stealing food, taking baths. His bare footprints would sometimes be found at the sites of his alleged crimes. Once, he even broke into a person's home and using their credit card information, ordered bear mace and night vision goggles online. And with his deep love for flying, he would download flight simulator games on stolen laptops and spend hours practicing flying. Finally, Colton decided it was time to fly. In 2008, Colton snuck into his first plane. And though he never had official training, he took off. At the end of his run, Colton was suspected of almost 100 thefts. He would finally be caught in the summer of 2010. Colton was captured in the Bahamas while trying to flee in a stolen boat. Police shot out the engine of the boat. As police attempted to arrest Colton, he put a gun to his head, but the police successfully talked him down. Colton was sentenced to over seven years in prison after his 2010 arrest when he was just 19. While in prison, his mother passed away from cancer. On December 27, 2016, he was freed from work release, barking a new beginning for Colton Harris Moore as a free man. That's not Colton Harris Moore. It's the myth of the barefoot bandit. I don't go by that name. I don't live my life by what the Barefoot Bandit would presumably live his life by, or the Barefoot Bandit's values. Colton even had a new job lined up, doing low-level clerical work for attorney John Henry Brown, the man who represented him. But Colt still loves aviation. It's this uncontrollable obsession. It's a little bit more controlled than it was six or seven years ago, but that's what it is. It's an obsession. Colton's future plans include returning to school and hopefully studying aeronautical engineering. 